All righty, and we are recording. Hello, everyone, and welcome to your very first tribal council of the season. And Evie's also here to co-host with me and Sev. So yeah, let's get this started. I think I'm gonna give this first question to the editor of this challenge. So, um, you, everybody pretty knows what knows what the challenge is, but I like to ask, how was your experience doing the challenge, Mac? It was a lot of fun. Um, I've never edited before. And I always like wanted to edit a video. I am very disappointed that we lost the challenge. I feel like partially to blame. And I, you know, I missed the mark on that one, but it's okay. Because the next time I edit a video, it'll be much better. Ready? And I kind of have a follow-up question to that. Do you feel that with you stepping up and being the editor, do you feel that puts a target on your back tonight? Okay, one sec. We'll wait for him to get back. Ready? Um... Sorry, I can answer the question now. Um, I, so could you repeat it, sorry? I said my question was, with you stepping up and being the editor for your tribe, do you feel that puts a target on your back? I do a little. Um, like, I feel like guilty, partially, um, that, you know, it, although it, it it's like a tribe effort, but I'm the one who did, like, I'm the one who did the editing. So people could just be like, well, this person caused us to lose, so we could just vote off Mac. And it sucks. But, you know, hopefully it's not me. Alrighty. Rick, can I comment on that, actually? Go right ahead. Okay, so I'm just going to say nobody in this tribe is to blame for this challenge because one, it's a subjective ass challenge. Um, we're going to blame the four judges, whoever the fuck they might be, because literally they're the reason we lost. Point blank and period. <laughs> Righty. So I'll go ahead and turn this around on you, Zach. Um, what are the vibes at camp like ever since you guys found out your results? to this challenge to now? Why do you gotta give me the vibes question? I mean, I enjoy everybody here. We're so, I feel like we're still getting to know each other cause it's like, it's still round one. Like, yeah, it's gonna be a bit awkward and shit cause we're all new people. We're strangers essentially. But like, it, the vibes are fine for right now. We'll see if there's blood after tonight though. Alrighty. And um, does anybody have a different perspective on have a different perspective from that or do we all agree we do not agree not one bit <laughs> all righty what is what is your take on it then my take on it is what from what i heard like five names were tossed today five round one five i mean we're all new but shit hit that fan names were getting tossed everywhere so we are we all are new we're still getting to know each other but <laughs> It wasn't all uh, peaches and cream either. <laughs> Alrighty, and um, I can ask this. I'm gonna ask um, Mr. Jackson this. How do you? So X just said there are five names thrown out. How do you make sure you are not one of those five names? Uh, you gotta talk to everybody, but of course, with this being Memorial Day weekend, everybody had their own plans. Not everybody was busy or uh, active all at the same time, so. Talking to everybody at all times is fucking impossible. So the answer to your question is get lucky. And hopefully you have trust in the right people. And get lucky is pretty big on that, to be honest with you. Alrighty, alrighty. And um, I, I'm going to turn around and ask the same thing to Tawny as well. How do you 
how do you navigate your way and make sure you are not the person voted out if five names are thrown out? Um, in my case, just kind of cry a lot and hope for the best. Um, <laughs> Because I was one of the five names getting thrown out, and I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just a mess right now. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Cry and hope for the best is how you make sure that you don't get voted out. <laughs> Righty. And so, Eric, I'm gonna ask you next. Um, so what, um how are you planning how it how is how do you feel the tribe is basing their vote tonight whether that is an activity whether it's challenge performance how do you feel the tribe is doing it and what are you also basing your vote on i think it's like um kind of a variety of things because i think some of the reasons so many names were put out is because everybody kind of had like a somewhat different opinion on someone who was a weak link in the challenge. There were different opinions on that. Um, when it came to like activity, there was people who hadn't talked to certain people who had talked to others. So they were kind of like inactive towards each other and not other people. So obviously you're going to think they're inactive, but if they're talking to other people, they aren't, they just, might not want to work with you or might not like you that much so i think it kind of is that's kind of the reason why there is five names being thrown out is because everything was kind of subjective so people had very different opinions it wasn't like a cut and dry challenge like in a timed challenge where everyone has an individual time it's very easy to point out a weak link because it's the person who did the worst but in a challenge like a subjective challenge it's like oh well this person did the worst at this this person did the worst at that so I think it's just kind of a variety of factors and I'm still trying to figure out which one is more important so we'll see righty and I guess I'll ask, I'm gonna go back to um go back to Tawny on this one so Kind of, how do you guys, how do you feel about the idol system? And do you feel that that could be a possible factor in tonight's vote in the in an idol being played? I fucking hate your idol system. And I feel like everyone here would agree. I don't remember who I said this to, but I remember saying, I'm like, even if, like all nine of us were to come together to share idle guesses, the chances of us without any type of clue would still be like a complete shot in the dark. Like one through 400, one through 400. I, if anyone has it, you are the luckiest motherfucker on the face of the planet with no clues or hints because I've been getting nothing with sparkles for the past like three or four days. Um, and I literally asked Jesse if I could snort sparkles. Um, maybe it would give me some luck <laughs> and it hasn't. Alrighty. And um, I do have an open-ended question and is always open-ended question here raise your hand if you feel you are going home tonight and are in danger or if you've heard your name all righty we got a couple hands up we got a couple well one's off camera but we have the confident person so yeah, um, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna give you guys a few minutes to submit your votes and um, you guys can make shout outs, request any breakout rooms if you wanna talk to anybody, 
etc. Now is the time to do that. You guys go ahead and take those few minutes to vote. And Seb will be back to read the vote for you guys. I'll slide in for a quick shout out. Shout out to Julia Rowe. You're amazing. Shout out to Nick, who's in my prod chat. I actually have someone in this one. I am driving one handed in the rain. Be careful. 10 and 2, Max. 10 and 2. Oh, it's more like uh, 3 30 and phone. Um, just make sure the latch of your hood is locked so you don't have a smashed windshield. Um, I speak from experience. Thank you. My car's green. Oh. oh, hi, sub. <laughs> um, can anyone hear me? Everyone can hear me, correct? We can hear you. Okay, yeah, perfect. Um, if anyone has a hidden immunity at all and they would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Okay, I'll get to the votes. First vote, Eric. Second vote, Eric. Third vote, X. Fourth vote, X. Fifth vote, X. Sixth vote, X. Seventh vote. And the first person voted out of Distortion Survivor, The Hidden Temple Mysteries, X. If you have any final words, now would be the time to say them. No, I have no uh, parting words. I had fun, y'all. I regret nothing I did. Um, and I'm glad that I decided to trust the people I did. I enjoyed those five people. Um, and I, regardless of trust, y'all slayed the King X. I got out first for my first time ever in an org. Uh, after not playing for two years, but I was messy, I was chaotic, and I gave no fucks. So, all love y'all. Uh, and Tawny, I do not regret tossing your name. I think you're a threat. I think you're messy, but your message did did make me feel bad. But it's a game. I got to do what I got to do. Love y'all, and thank you to the one person that voted with me. Production, thanks for casting me. X, thank you for playing, but <laughs> the tribe has spoken. Indeed, they have. <laughs> thank you so much. We really enjoyed having you. Thank you, Miss Grace. Thank you. At least you didn't have to vote me out this time. Peace out. <laughs> Makes him feel any better. I don't regret voting him out either after voting me. <laughs> and with that, congrats to you guys to the final 17. You guys will get your challenge in um, the next couple of minutes. So you guys are free to leave. Can I say? Right. Can we slice? Sure. Yeah, of course.